Alrighty guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Showtime. So, in the last part, we got the genie from Haley, And it's right in here. Um, <laughs> we also got Nathan to level up in his career, so... Um, the sooner we get, like, the sooner we get into his career and stuff, and the farther we get in it, um, the less hours we'll have to work, and then we can focus more on the DJ booth, which we haven't really, really gotten too much into, and I honestly don't really understand too much. Um, Abigail, um, you know, she's still level 6, whatever, and Zach is a level 4, and we're gonna, um, have him call up Ariella Chen, because you guys were like, yeah, um, set him up with Ariella instead of, um, Abigail, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna set him up with her, and, um, if she's some secret psychopath that we don't know about, because you know how some sims like to go crazy, like Sadie was just like, Lord God, she she was just she was Sadie, <laughs> and so yeah, we're gonna call up Ariella Chen, but not right now, obviously, because it's five in the morning. So, um, I don't even know why he's up this early, but he is. So, what we're gonna do is we are going to have him eat some leftover waffles and head out somewhere. I guess maybe to perform for tips. Do we have a gig? No, I'm pretty sure now everybody's gig schedules are empty except for hers. And she has a performance today, so we're going to kind of focus on Abigail and making our second wish and showing off the witches. The witches. Showing off the wishes <laughs> because I didn't get to do that last time because I just went ahead and wished for fortune. Oh, and the wishes that you guys wished for. You guys said wish for um, fortune again. And somebody suggested that I become friendlier with the genie and then wish for more wishes so that we can then get more. And Nathan is also really close to 30,000. Um, so maybe we can even get another genie after that. You're getting even more money. <laughs> so let's see. Um, toss a Lydia Bob in the air. Uh, no. That's kind of dangerous, honey. You don't want to kill your kid now. And how is our- is he a slob? Yeah, he's a slob. I was like, yeah, that's why he's eating that way. So we're gonna clean- we're gonna actually try to have him clean up afterwards. La la la. Okay, here we go. So, clean up, and he's just gonna clean up all the dishes. And is anybody getting up soon? Yeah, it seems like Nathan's gonna be the next one up. Let me see what houses are for sale right now, actually, because I haven't checked. Let's go. Okay, so there's this house across the street, but I bet you it's ugly. Yeah, and it's a two bedroom. We need more than that because we want to be able to give um, Lydia her own room. Three bedroom. Hmm? Three bedroom. Let's look at this place. Magic Mansion. Three bedroom, four bath. Let's check it out. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> I like to go into edit town mode and check houses instead of actually clicking the move button and lo looking at houses that way. I remember I used to do that when I first started playing Sims because I didn't know how it worked. But yeah, so we're going to wait for this to load and see what it fully looks like on the outside. There we go, it's loading up. It looks really cool, look at that. It's like, that looks, that looks awesome guys. Look at that three car garage. Are there any cars in there? Yeah, there's two cars, which we'd probably sell so we can actually afford it. But I don't even think we can afford it then. No, see, we only have 106,000 and it's 186. So, wow, that car is really shiny. Wow. That is crazy. Um, let's see. Let's look at the actual house. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this like, oh look, like a little mini pool bar area, that's really cool. And then there's a bathroom, some showers I guess for the pool. And then there's the actual pool. That looks really nice. That looks freaking awesome. Uh, and to the inside, how would they enter this? Let me put walls up. I have not seen this house myself. The houses that came with this game though, I know, are like superb compared to the old games. Look at this. This is awesome. Is that a secret? Oh, Egyptian door. For a second I thought it was. Whoa. Okay. Okay. That That is cool. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, they have a fountain in the house. That is really awesome. What I don't like is that there's so much space. Like, look at this bedroom. They could... 
Look, you could add so much more stuff, but I guess they leave that for us to customize, so it makes sense. And I love this idea, putting the shower up on a stage. That, that is genius. I love that. But only three bedrooms. I'm sure we could, like, build on more if we were to choose this house. But we need, obviously, still a little more money. But this looks awesome. Look at that. And where's the uh, other bedroom? Is there an oh, there's another stairs that leads up again. And then there's this hangout room. <gasps> Look at that. Look at this. That's it. <gasps> that is awesome. Is there like a pool like on the roof? Alright. Sorry. I had to zoom out a bit to see something. That is crazy. And what's in here? Oh, this is like a little separate room. And they have a uh, magic trunk prop. Um, that's weird. Oh, I'm guessing a magician lived here. Okay, good. Because it was just like, what's this? I thought it was like some hidden treasure. But no, it's not. And look at this balcony, guys. You can't tell me this house isn't beautiful. And just shoot golf balls off the side of the house. May as well, right? Probably have nothing better to do. And up here, all the way up here, far up away from everything, we can change this gym, I guess. Well, no, because then we'd have to take out the pool. And I don't want to take out the pool. But look, look at this. We could totally split this into two separate bedrooms. So this is a possibility. That is totally a possibility. That is awesome. And I feel like I kind of said that sarcastically, but I didn't. It sounded like I did, though. Alright, so that's one option. And then we'll have to view the next few. Um, this one. Uh, House of the Future. Ooh. I remember seeing this one in um in Queen's LP, I think, when she was looking for houses, if this is if I am correct. Yep. And I'm pretty sure this is the one Sweet Nightingale uses too. Or used or is it the same house? I don't even know. <laughs> See that that shows how good my memory is. Look at the oh this is Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. I am like kind of speechless right now. And look at this kitchen, guys. Look at the kitchen. Look at that. Wow. That is nice. That is really nice. I feel like they use stages a lot in this game. Like in this town. Look at that. Gym on the side with the view. Like everybody can watch you work out. So I guess that's kind of weird. But look at this. That is awesome. And three bedrooms, I believe. One, two, and then... Wow, this this room is really tiny. Look at that. And then... Kind of like a rooftop hangout, which is pretty cool. Again, I would probably just convert it into a bedroom. Like, put a wall right here. And make this a bedroom with its own bathroom, right? Alright? That would totally work. And then just a rooftop area, which looks amazing. Look at this. Imagine just chilling out, like, with that view. Just, wow. Wow. Okay. This is another possibility. I mean, I've seen the backyard of this one before, but I think I'll show you anyway. A stereo, kind of hangout area. Kind of a deck area above the pool. I feel like they took their time for the buildings in this game. And now with the actual, like, game... Oh, in a way, because of the glitches. But I can't complain, because this, it, the Showtime is really fun. Oh, and a lot of you were asking me my thoughts on Supernatural, but I am going to make a separate video on, about that. Probably when I'm doing my current household, I'll make it like a slash... Um, a slash my thoughts on Supernatural. This is two bedrooms, so now all of that space for two bedrooms? Are you kidding me? Um... Because, like, I don't really want to, like, have to edit anything too much. How's... Th Ooh, this looks nice. Two bedroom... Nope. Never mind. What is this? Two bedroom? No. What is this? Four bedroom... Ooh, let's look at this. Let's look at this. This looks... Oh my... Oh my, I like this. Already. Just, just from all the way over there. Wow. 
Um, and this is... No, I think the other one over there was cheaper. But look at this guy, it's just... I mean, it hasn't finished loading or rendering yet, but like... Look at that. Okay, so we're just gonna go down the floors a bit. <gasps> look at the entryway! In a fountain- oh my god. Look at it. It's a Oops. See, me and my camera do not get along. We do not. Nope. Not in any way. Alright, and this is the dining room. I would rather put like an archway from here into the kitchen, but whatever. This kitchen looks awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Kind of get a closer view of that. Oh! <gasps> Look how cute this is. Kind of looks like a tight space, but look at this. That's so cute. That is so cute. And this is kind of like a party area, I guess. I guess for the political career, that'd be really cool, because then you can just throw parties all the time. So this is a nice room. Has a bathroom off to the side. Is this a separate... It's a separate room for the toilet, and I think the toilet is pink. Yep, the toilet is pink. Look at that. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. Another bedroom over here that you can tell they didn't give a crap about. <laughs> then there's another one over here that attaches to that bathroom. And let's see. Over here, just a nice little overlooking area of the foyer. Over here, oops, nope, didn't mean to edit. Over here, just another bedroom, which is kind of small. It'd be a kid's room. That could be Lily. Lily's room. Lily, uh, Li did I call her Lily? Lydia Bob. There we go. Where'd I get Lily from? That's weird. <laughs> and is that it? That's all the floors, right? Yup. Oh, and the garage. The pool is like nothing special in this house. It look. I mean, from what I saw. Um. Wait. Let me see. If I were to sell all these cars, how much would the house cost then? That took off like over a hundred thousand off the house. See, yeah, the pool is like nothing special. Although I do like this gazebo. <sighs> I don't even know. I think the only reason I know all these terms and stuff, like foyer and gazebo, are because well, I mean everybody knows foyer, but or I mean most people do. I mean around my age range, I think. Whatever. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, it's because I watch a lot of HGTV. I love HGTV. Like, I think a little way- I think way too much. In a way, kind of. Um, but yeah, I think those are the only houses that are up for sale. I mean, I don't like this one because it's weird. Um, this was a three bedroom. This was a three bedroom. Mm, I feel like this one had way too much space, though. That's why I'm kind of, eh, I'm iffy about it. So yeah, I think we're gonna put off getting a house until more people start to move out. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That is what we're gonna do. And I probably just wasted a lot of you guys' time just now. So you know what? You can just skip right through that whole part. I mean, to hear me saying this now, you probably actually watched through. But yeah. Whatever. Whatevs. Oh, whatevs. Okay, I don't know why I just said... You know what bothers me when like weird pervs on the side of the road are like, or like, like no, that's not cute. That's not cute. I mean, not that it's happened to me, because pervs always whistle at me, because you know, I'm not attractive. Hello, JK. I'm kidding. I don't think low of myself like that. But um, it usually only happens when I'm hanging out with other people. But you know what I learned from How I Met Your Mother? People look better when they're in groups of, like when they're in groups. And it's kind of true. Kinda true. Think about it. He only has the handiness skill. You know what? We're we're gonna have him tinker then, or we were gonna have him do something, weren't we? Yeah, we were gonna have him be Ariel Chen. So she better not be doing anything right now. We're gonna invite her out. We're gonna butter her up a bit. S uh, probably have dinner, which is what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna go have dinner, but kind of be cheap because we're going to the coffee house. But yeah, we're gonna send her to the coffee house. Eat there with her befriend her. Pose going steady and stuff. And she's not interested right now. Really? Really? 
Oh, but, but you can talk on the phone, yes? Yes? Am I, am I correct? Am I correct? And what are you doing? Does he work today? Yep, he works in seven hours, but we should be getting his athletic up. We're going to make him not break a sweat. Even though it doesn't really help his athletic, but I just don't want to have to have him take a shower right away afterward. I mean, we don't want him going to work smelly, right? Am I right? I think I'm right. We should get Haley a gig. Yeah, we're going to get Haley a gig. That's what we're going to do. And she should hurry up and get a full night's sleep. So I'm just going to speed four. That chiz faux show. I love how I'm trying to act ghetto, but it's like an epic fail. Ooh, a Simfest! A Simfest at Verde Park. You know what? Hey, Abigail! Get your butt up! You are gonna shower and eat something real quick. Like, screw all your other uh, uh, other motives. We gon' go, and you're gonna try out for Simfest. Um, it's not at the coffee house. Oh, but she has the gig. She has the gig later, though. So no, it don't matter. No, it don't matter, no. No, it don't. No, it does not. I'm sorry, guys, if you guys are getting annoyed by me acting ghetto. Alright, so it's not her, it's this woman over here. So we're gonna go... Oh no, an audition for Acrobatic. Join Simfest. Um, why can't we join Simfest? Why can't we... I want... I want to join Simfest. Mm-hmm. Really? Really, buddy? So we're gonna go greet her then. Unless it hasn't started yet and we have to wait a little bit. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. She's gonna go start. So we're gonna have her come here after she eats. And this guy, he's he's ready to go. Isn't he one of our fans? Like, don't we have a decent relationship with that guy? Oh, no, we don't. Who was it? I think it's some guy. He's, like, athletic or something. And maybe we're not friends with him anymore. Never mind. Wow, she doesn't have any friends. No wonder she's suffering socially. Come on. Come on, uh, Abigail. Come on. Oh, this magician girl thinks she's gonna win. She Holly Robbins, cause she she's dressed all fancy. You think you fancy, huh? She's really scary looking though. So you know what? We're gonna win. We got this. Like she ain't got nothing on us. So we're gonna run here, just cause. I guess nobody's gonna start. No, cause Simfest apparently canceled. What the heck? Okay then, I guess Simfest's over. That is a nasty glitch right there. <sighs> I feel like recently I've been having way too many glitches though. Like in my um, current household, I was trying to play. I could not play as a singer. I couldn't perform singograms or anything. When I tried to be an architect, my car would get stuck in the inventory and some things I couldn't do, like architect-wise. Listen to accusation. No, thank you. Um, we're gonna eat leftovers because apparently she's hungry. Um, and yeah, I've been suffering some mean glitches. I, I was traveling and my sim, like, it would literally freeze. You know how there's the freezes? It would freeze literally every two seconds for like 10 seconds. And when I traveled home, it stopped. But now every time I travel, it's like that. And I, I was enjoying traveling recently. I was having my sim travel quite often and now she can't. And sometimes when I would look up adventures, it wouldn't give me an adventure anywhere like in any of the three destinations and I would have to click on it like a few like a hundred times oh yeah do you think it's time to wish for something else wish for love honey you have love calm down um she wants to bathe I'm pretty sure your hygiene is just fine and she wants to buy a dollhouse no um, how's the baby doing? Oh, she's stinky. Well, no wonder she's crying. Okay, so we're going to change her dirty diaper. And we're going to get our relationship up with her, even though it's kind of high. So we're going to um, attack with the claw. And how's Nathan doing? Alright. Um, how close is he to getting? Pretty close. So we're going to push self. And what is this girl doing? She's going to go play computer games. Nope. No, you're not. You, when is your gig again? It's 7.30, so we're going to have to keep her in a good mood until she has to go to her gig. Just because Lord knows we don't want them peeing on stage. 
or like anything like that. Look at the claw! That's pretty much what she's saying. Oh, L Lydia is so cute. Okay, so we're gonna tickle. And we are going to tickle and attack with the claw are almost kind of the same thing. Except the sim makes it look a lot more epic. Alright, so that's good. So we're gonna put Lydia here. And what are you reading here, Zach? What are you reading? A book about Grant Rodiek. Didn't he used to work with the Sims? He was, wasn't he like that bald guy or something? I think it was. Well, he wasn't really bald. I think he just had blonde hair. What else? And he wants to improve his athletic skill. Which we can do. We can totes. Totes me goats do that. Okay, come on. We, we're so close to to getting this athletic skill. <gasps> yes! So close. Come on. We're almost there. Uh, um, I was going to call him Adam. We're almost there, Na Nathan. Go. He doesn't have a game today, does he? No. So it's not, he can be a little late to work. Come on. That one athletic skill. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! There we go. So, come on. Oh, actually, no. He's got to pee. So we're going to pee and shower and go to work late. And then, go to work. Um, practice? What does practice mean? Or does he have practice today? Is that what it means? I guess that's what it means. So we're going to go practice. Yep, oh, that's his work. So we're going to work out in the gym then. Or prepare for game. That's what we're going to do. I've never seen that before. That's cool. Is he reading a pregnancy book? Yeah. Zach, you know, you're the reason I don't like buying bookshelves anymore. <laughs> well, not specifically him. And wow, she's playing the guitar really loud. Come on. Haley, put that down. And we're going to summon the genie. And read some of the, the wishes. And then make our next one again, which is going to be fortune. So put that guitar down. Listen. I don't think I want to listen to her, because all Abigail likes to do is complain. Although I'm going to make them friends. That is a something I'm going to do for sure. It seems like she always wants to be friends with Zack. Like, their relationship decays so easily. So we can't make another wish. So we're going to start being funny. Make silly face. Funny. Tell a funny story. Friendly. Chat. Friendly. Gossip. Friendly. Ask alma mater. And you can move. Go hang out with Zack. Because Ariel Chen doesn't want to hang out with him today. She's rude. So we're gonna gossip. Friendly. Ask about day. Alright. Romantic. Can she do that pickup line thing? I just recently knew that that pickup line existed thing. The, 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 the pickup line option existed and I was like what? Because I was watching um, one of iPod Zeke's videos and I was like I never knew that existed. I've never actually seen that interaction. So Kenya thinks Haley is amusing. So we're going to ask this genie to move in with us. And now she's going to go pee. Of course she is. And Nathan is in a terrible mood. He's really hungry. He could eat at work, right? I think. Don't they get meals at work? Alright, come on, wash your hands. Okay. And she's in a decent mood. And she just had to be really tired right now, right? Go to your gig location. And we are going to set up her stage. Unless this gig decides it wants to cancel itself like SimFest did. So we're going to set up our stage and use previously saved setup. If we even saved one, I'm not even quite sure. So we're going to speed up here. And is she still talking to Kenya? Yes, she is. Is she almost here? And she's taking Haley's for everything, man. Yep. Okay, so anyway, come on. It's <sighs> Get off our stage. Aren't you a proprietor? And she's the proprietor for the park. 
isn't she? Either that or she looks exactly like her. Weird. That is really weird. Oh, oh, palm trees in the way. Okay, here we go. Here she comes to set up her stage. Do you really have to take the stage to walk across? Like, don't you see I'm setting something up here? Get off, freaking tourist. Yep, get off to Saint Boutier. Annoying piece of crap. I'm gonna have to reset her probably. Oh well. And apparently I don't have a previously saved setup. So you know what? We're just gonna use some of um what's his face's old props. And maybe add a few new ones. Or actually no, that's really dark. Let's not use that. <laughs> We're going to get her some nicer stuff that kind of goes with the whole, you know, um, acrobat theme. Let's see, what is this? Um, that's definitely not gonna go. We can go, like, ghetto street version, but I mean... Here we go, this is cute. We're gonna use this, which I guess kind of goes, I mean, that's more magician, but we're gonna use it, because it kind of works. Unless, what is this? No, that's definitely for a magician. This is Wild Wild West, which I'm not gonna do. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Come on, delete. And we're gonna put some of these arrow things in. One of those. Oh, and why is it all the way off the edge? Okay, one of those. And the one over here. I totally forgot how much money we had, so I'm kind of wasting it all right now. <laughs> Not until we make our next wish, of course. So we're going to put that there, and I don't really know exactly what I'm going to put everywhere else. I mean, ice cream cones kind of don't work with this theme. Um, what is this? Nope, that doesn't work either. Seahorses don't work. Unless we do an underwater theme, which would be so much easier because there are more objects with that. So we're going to do that. We're going to do an underwater theme. Clams. On the sides over here. And we can't rotate them. Weird. Okay. Come on, right there. And we're going to put another one over here. Or I can't. Can't intersect object. Oh, because the ball thing is in the way. That's fabulous. Just, just great. Really. I mean, I didn't want to... Oh, okay, <laughs> this is gonna be a while. Um, hmm, what can I do then? Um, I guess candy hills, cakes and candy hills. Yes. So we're gonna. <gasps> oh. Okay. One over here. I can't even put it all the way back here. <sighs> That's irritating. So we'll just put the ball in the center. Since we don't really have anything else. Oh, because what's her face is in the way? Okay then. Okay. That's the last draw. And I can't use cheats apparently. Oh, there we go. Move objects on. And I'm gonna move this girl, cause she's getting on my nerves. Thank you. Oh, oh god, not the whole stage. Move objects off. <laughs> and now, I'm going to grab this, move it back. There we go. Finally. Um, or actually these can go in the front. And then... This can go back here. And we can have these arrows, like I was going to put before, but then took off for no reason. Um, do you want to go in place? Or, I guess not. There we go. That should work. That's good enough. And then she's going to get that want to have more than 15 props, which we're not going to do. Yes, yeah, so you are going to first perform a contortion. If that's the correct word, right? Contortion, yes. Does 
Does anybody want to see something specific? And see, this is the freezes that happen that are really oh so annoying and that everybody complains about. And this one's unusually long. Come on. Come on. Are you serious? EA, see, this is what you have to fix. And you guys probably can't even hear me with this music now because it's really loud and I can't zoom out. EA, this is what you have to fix. Some, I think we should all go on Twitter and complain to them about how their game freezes. That'd be really nice. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So she's performing a contortion. I'm sorry if you guys just had to sit through that like 15 seconds. <sighs> but you probably didn't have to because you could easily just skip forward, which I couldn't do. So what do they see? Want to see juggling? I can juggle. So we're gonna change background music. Be Not ball stunt. I'm trying to click on her. Acrobat. And now we can't. Okay. That's nice. We're gonna do knives. And we're going to change background music because it's irritating. There we go. And some weird vampire chick who's like staring- See, she just waved at you guys. <laughs> and does anybody want to see anything else? We can perform a ball stunt, the boulder dash. And is this Isaac Locke? Yes it is. Did he turn to a vampire too? I'd be so mad if he did. Yeah, he turned into a vampire too. But we can totally add him into the family and get him healed. Oh, she did it successfully. Look at that. So we are going to dazzle the audience. We are going to acrobat. Um, we are going to... They want to see more juggling. That I think that is everybody's favorite, juggling. Acrobat, we're going to also mime after that walking in the wind. I'm just surprised nobody's walked on the stage during the performance so far. So, but you know what? Let me not let me not jinx it now, because then somebody's gonna walk on. All right, seems like everybody's liking it. And what is she doing? She's turning off the lights. Her frugal, but she's she's frugal. Yep. So summon the genie. We're gonna see if we can make our wish now, because this performance is gonna end soon. What did they not like? Acrobat. What do they want to see? Oh, now they want to see a mime, right? The human statue. So we're gonna speed three, because I'm trying to wait for her to start the juggling. Come on. There we go. And then she's gonna finish the show. How did they ask her to mime, and she did? She mimes, and they don't like it. Like, what the heck? That was a very entertaining performance. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. She wanted to go talk with that French girl who was standing on her stage. No, no, dear. We, we do not talk to people of her kind. So, Mom, can we go home yet? Go here? Come on. Can you go home yet? Yeah, here we go. So we're going to send her home. And you are going to... So no, no, don't return to the lip. We are going to go not make another wish. Are you? It's been a whole day. Fine, we'll, we'll chat with you some more. We'll become friendlier with you. Share secret. Friendly. Gossip. Friendly. You can't put the baby down. Put the baby down. And he just... Okay. Okay. And you can stop watching TV and actually pay attention to your kid because you have a terrible relationship with her. What's the relationship? Yeah, like right there. So she's gonna- he's gonna attack with a claw. Feet on floor, whatever. Tickle. Toss in air. Um, snuggle. 
and she decided to be funny. Okay. <laughs> I sound really pissed right now, but that's mainly because that freeze like ticked me off. Uh, discuss favorite TV shows. Friendly, uh, celebrity gossip. Friendly, um, talk about movies. Friendly. Is there a way to just tell a story or? Here we go. So forward. Did you hear, Zach? Matthews has the handier skill. I think that's the thing we first went over in this part. I'm pretty sure we do. So come on. Talk. Chit chat. Become friends. Like, how long does it take for these people to become friends? Friendly. Um. Enthused about music. Friendly. Oh, not have breakfast. I'm not clicking on the oven. I'm talking to him. Tell story, here we go. Um, do we know any of his traits? No. And apparently somebody named Ricky Burroughs got a new job. Oh, whoop they do And she's hungry and her father is just trying to put her away. He, he was trying to sleep with her hungry. Nathan, you are a terrible father. You are nothing like the Nathan from Montreal. And then you could read her to sleep. Um, figure painting 101, whatever. And then you could sleep. Alright, so friendly. Um. Yeah. Chat again. Admire. Friendly. Friendly hug. Friendly. Express fondness. Where, where was that? Get to know, I guess. Friendly. Mm. Do you want to sleep over? Um, Haley, I'm pretty sure he lives with us. How much longer do we have to wait for another wish? Because it's been over a day, and it's 2 a.m. right now. Alright, so a hug, whatever. Return to Genie Lab, because clearly you're not going to grant us another wish right now. And he's going to finally read her to sleep, and he's going to go to sleep, and the other two are asleep. So, yeah, I'm, and wow, he has a lot of, wow. Okay, so yeah, guys, this is where it's going to end. This part kind of wasn't really that productive. I guess we, we had a performance from Abigail, um, and that's actually just about it. And we, we became friendlier with the genie. We're friends with him now, I'm pretty sure. Um, and he doesn't come up under our friends list because he's in the bottle right now. See, we don't even like that French girl. Like, Haley doesn't like her. That girl just likes to ruin shows, I bet you anything. Alright, so in the next episode, I'm gonna actually try to have her become friends with Abigail because they like to fight a lot for no reason. Um, Nathan, he has a game tomorrow. W or today, whatever. Woot woot. And, um, Abigail, I don't know, I I'm gonna... We're going to improve our athletic skill just so we can get to level 7 of the acrobat career. And is that a deer? I can't tell because it's whatever. Bye. Goodbye. You know what? No. I need to find out. I need to find out. What is it? It's a deer. It's it's a deer. Yep. I was correct. <laughs> and, yeah. And as for Zach, we're going to try again with Ariel Chen. If it doesn't work, then, then we're just going to have him and Abigail get together. And that's that. So see you guys in the next part. And goodbye.